the Nevada desert in the United States. U.S. Air Force fighter planes shoot down a flying saucer. Pentagon authorities place the pilot of the UFO under strict military surveillance. Professor Mortimer is mysteriously kidnapped, as is the pilot of the UFO. Captain Francis Blake is alerted saying? to the situation. The disappearance of Mortimer and the pilot puts Blake on the track of a mysterious mineral, orichalc. When enriched and concentrated, orichalc has phenomenal destructive <sighs> powers. Only one place on Earth is rich in this mineral, the Azores Archipelago. There, Blake finds that the Get chief up. of the military regime is Sharkey. Blake loses consciousness and comes to in the mythical kingdom of Atlantis. And here he finds his old friend, Mortimer. They are greeted by a young woman called Ariane. She is the daughter of Basilius, emperor of the kingdom. From now on, Blake and Mortimer are regarded as guests for life, as no one ever leaves Atlantis. Father? Have you spoken to him? No, Ariane, he is in no state to be interrogated. I am to be informed the moment he is conscious. Certainly, Your Majesty. He will tell you who accompanied him. The American radar detected two aircraft. The first one was shot down, as you already know, but the second has disappeared. Is that true? There's only one missing, Your Majesty. In that case, we'll wait for his explanation. Come with me. The first time anyone has dissipated the interdiction and endangered us all. What about you, though, Princess? You were so unwise as to bring those Earthlings to Atlantis. It doesn't matter, Magon, because they'll never leave us. Your Majesty, you'll not keep us here by force. Captain Blake, Professor Mortimer, I've already explained to you the reasons for my decision. I'll not change my mind. Please leave me now. If you have need of anything at all, you may ask Magon. Doesn't it surprise you that a spacecraft could leave base without Megan, the man in charge, your chief of staff, knowing it? Enough! Megon enjoys my confidence. He is the most noble, the most loyal of all Atlantans. Your meal, gentlemen. Ah, yes. Thank you. Mm. What is this? Sea anemone, an octopus on a bed of seaweed. Ah. Enjoy your meal, gentlemen. Quite a wardrobe. And they even have your size, Professor. Come on, Francis. Have some of this. Hmm. What a beautiful scent. Wouldn't you agree, Professor? <laughs> An allergy, Professor? I can deal with that. We're under house arrest and under surveillance. You're probably right. Even so, it's an extraordinary opportunity for a scientist to find himself here in Atlantis. Just think what it could mean to study a civilization like this. It means that we won't be able to get away from these Atlantans while up above us the world's being menaced by Ulrich. What do you mean? Mortimer, there's been a coup d'etat in the Azores. Our friend Sharky is the new military dictator there. And it is in the Azores, and only there, that Orichalc is to be found. Ulrich must surely have learned of its destructive potential. But what was that dissident pilot doing on Earth? And Megan, who insists no pilot ever left. I wouldn't mind a little visit to the base, Blake. Let's take a taxi. Good heavens, it's as busy as Piccadilly Circus at five o'clock. Poseidonopolis base, we have arrived. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. It all seems normal enough. Maybe, Blake. But look, there. That one. Over there. It's been quite seriously damaged and not completely repaired. There. What is that? 
Sir, we should arrest them. No, not just yet. It's steel. A fragment of an American missile. So this is the second aircraft. That proves it. Megan was lying. Megan's an interesting fellow. In charge of the military base, as well as the plant for treating orichalc. And also confidant of King Basilius. Come on, Blake. Aha! That one looks to be in working order. Let's go. Where are we going? To the orichalc mine. I know the way. Get down! Attempting to escape despite the king's orders. To escape? You're mistaken! As it happens, we were simply borrowing this vehicle to... Silence. You there. Search the vessel. Captain! Look what I found. I expected that. Take them. But, uh, wait a second. What is all this? We weren't even aware that... that... Silence. You will explain yourselves to the king. And how can I believe you, when you were captured in the very act of attempting to escape? We were not trying to escape. Where would we go? Your Majesty, please listen. We found the second spacecraft the Americans saw on Earth. It is here, in Poseidonopolis. There are things of which you're unaware, Majesty, because they are hidden from you. For what reason, Captain Blake? We have no way of knowing, sire. Father, why would they lie? Why? They weren't leaving empty-handed, Majesty. Here's what was in the vessel they wanted to borrow. It is Orichalc. That is a barefaced lie, and those boxes were planted. And who do you suggest I believe? An Atlantan who served me faithfully for 20 years, or you two Earthlings who betray my trust at the first opportunity? Oh, let me through! Let me through! Majesty, or the pilot is dead. Someone disconnected his oxygen supply. You even went so far as to kill one of my men? Take them away. As you say, Majesty. But, 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 but you are this mistaken. This is wrong. Wait, it's we absolutely didn't do untrue. anything. He's lying. The principal witness is dead. Because of these earthlings, we shall never know what happened. Be fair, Father. You have no proof against these men. They seem sincere. You are too credulous, Ariane. Magon is right. And nothing good can come from Earthlings. Well, the situation could be better. You might say so. We're accused of murder. Simple as that. I followed your advice. The pilot will never talk. Good. No inconvenient witnesses. I have neutralized the Earthlings, but the princess still defends them to her father. We'll dispose of them in due course. Nothing must interfere with the success of our great projects. By all powerful Zeus, the moment has come and we are ready. Soon I shall reign as the lord of all Atlantis. After all these centuries of silence, centuries of underground existence, confined and humiliated, I shall lead the people of Atlantis into the light and we shall destroy the wretches who resist us and the entire earth shall be mine. And all this thanks to you. We are making progress, Magon. I've fulfilled my part of the contract. I shall fulfill mine. Oh, I'm counting on that. <laughs> Admit it, Mortimer. There's no way out. There must be. There must be a way to get out of here. I've got an idea, but I'm not so sure you'll approve of it. Say it anyway. We haven't time to bother about... Ah! Good heavens, Blake, what's got into you? Uh. Look at that, sir. They've started fighting. <coughs> Now stop this! Stop it right now! <laughs> Good technique, Professor. Whoa, wait! Patrol the coast, the mountains, as well as the rivers. Every underground passage and bring them back. Your Earthling friends have escaped, but I suppose that you will still have every confidence in them. You were right, Father. I was mistaken. I promise I'll find them. We're low enough, Blake. Below the radar in the magnetic field. Well, 
It's all or nothing. Let's go. Take a look at that. There's hundreds of them. Listen. Each and every one of you must be prepared. In a few hours, Poseidonopolis will be ours. We'll be ours! First we take Poseidonopolis, and then the world, and then the whole galaxy, the universe shall be ours! He's mad. Why, Captain Blake, Professor Mortimer, Ulrich, the same professor. Stop this nonsense, Ulrich. You realize what is happening? Oh, but of course I do. It was I, after all, who set it in motion. You? You hear that? In his delusions, this clown decided he had need of my savoir faire. Ah, ah, Captain Blake. I am paid for my services, Professor, in radioactive orichal. I shall become the richest man in the world, but you won't be there to see it. Goodbye, Professor. Oh! <clears throat> Blake and Mortimer, that way! Mortimer, are you hurt? It's nothing. Let's go, Blake. We've got to get to Poseidonopolis. The radio, Mortimer. Get in touch with Ariane. Mortimer to Ariane. Do you read me? Mortimer to Ariane. Professor Mortimer, this is Ariane. Give yourself up. You cannot escape. Ariane, listen to me. It is vital you warn Basilius. You are in danger. Poseidonopolis will be close. Mortimer? You there, Mortimer? Make it to Ariane. I have the fugitives in my sights. Here is their position. I'll get them, Megan. I'll cut them off in the canyon. Message received, Princess. Ariane? Ariane? Still nothing. She's turned off her radio. Look, he's going away. Ugh! Look out. There! There's another one! Go ahead. The princess and the earthlings are dead. We can march on Poseidonopolis. Give the order to my men. You can count on me. <laughs> oh, you poor fool. Did you really think I'd do such a thing? Megan tried to kill you. Now are you convinced? The traitor. Mortimer, Ariane, put on these flight packs. Please understand how much I regret all this, Mortimer. If I had listened to you, none of this would have happened. Forgive me for interrupting you, Princess, but I fear the worst is still to come. He is right, Ariane. But how can we warn Basilius now we have no aircraft? With just these? But get there too late. Maybe not. We'll get an aircraft at the mine. But first, follow me. Beyond this jungle is a sacred gong whose sound will warn my father. And this jungle? It's extremely dangerous. But why? Are the wild animals? Worse than that. Come. I see. And we couldn't use these flight packs? No. The cavern ceiling is too low. It's safer on foot. <gasps> Wretched insects. Oh! 
There's nothing. Just a stumble. Help me! Blake! Ariane! Help! Ariane, I beg you, quickly! Whoa. Professor! Let's get him out of there! Uh, uh, help! Blake! Mortimer, please, wake up! Uh, it's impossible. I'd have to have an axe. Just in time, old man. That'll do it. Uh, Mortimer? Hmm. And to think, Mortimer, that you boast of having a green thumb. Ariane, you're all right. Mortimer? Blake? Where are we? Magon! Quickly, or we'll be too late! The gong you spoke of, is it far from here? We're nearly there. Let's go! The sacred gong. They say it was used for centuries to warn Poseidonopolis of invading barbarians. Well, let's find out if that still works. And then we'll get back to the mine. What is Ulrich doing? The sacred gong. The alert's been sounded. We no longer have the benefit of surprise. Onward! Help me get away. Get in. Let her go, Ulrich. No sudden moves, Professor. You know I won't hesitate. <laughs> Nor would I. What the hell? And Magon promised he'd gotten rid of you both. I can't believe it. So it was you who betrayed me. What did you expect, old king? That I'd just go on obeying your orders forever? The world will learn that Atlantis is no legend, and they will feel our power. Oh, yes! <laughs> Today is the first day of the reign of Magon! You are deranged. And you, you will die. Huh? <laughs> you! Atlantans, this is Basilius, your king, who speaks to you. The people of Atlantis will live free. Better to leave our empire than to accept slavery here. Interstellar aircraft are waiting for you. Get to the takeoff zones. You will embark under Ariane's leadership. I command you all to obey her and to consider her from now on as your queen. <sighs> I beg you to come with us. It's too late. From now on, it is you who must reign over Atlantis. From here, I shall guide your departure. Time is short. Your courage and your loyalty have saved our people. Accept our thanks, my friends. Well, goodbye, Bye, Majesty. This autopilot submersible will get you home. Ariane. I wanted to tell you that... That you'll never forget me? Never. Not you, nor any of the places we have seen together. And which we must now leave. Atlantis is flooding. I won't forget you either, Professor. Goodbye, Blake. Good luck, Princess. Embarkation completed, Father. Fine. It's up to you now. 
Go and join them. But, Father... Go and join them, I tell you. Bon voyage, my daughter. And on this new exodus, may our people find their new guide in you. Damnation! I am not going to die here! <laughs> At last, Atlantis is mine! The surface world. We made it. She didn't make it. Yes. Look there, Mortimer. Her ship. They made it. Who would have thought the ancient civilization of Atlantis would play out its destiny beyond the stars? A dispatch has just come in from the Azores. Calm has at last been restored. Mortimer, look out. Shh. Let's listen. An international warrant has been issued for the arrest of Commander Sharkey, last seen a few days ago at the Punta Delgada Airport.